This is Twit. Apple, uh, they've opened their previously closed bug bounty program to all security researchers and have now published their official rules. They talked about this last August, that they were going to be doing that. Well, that has happened. On on Friday, Apple, Apple formally opened its bug bounty program to all researchers. Uh, they had announced it, as I mentioned, in August during Black Hat. Um, there's a big splashy page on the developer site at Apple, uh, headlined Apple Security Bounty. Um, up until this time, the bug bounty program was strictly by invitation only and was only accepted, uh, oh, and only accepted iOS security bugs. Now Apple will accept vulnerability reports for a wide array of products, including iPad OS, Mac OS, TV OS, watch OS, and iCloud. So basically, you know, the, the, the iOS platform in all of its variations, uh, plus Mac and iCloud, um, and the company has increased its maximum bug bounty from $200,000 to, <laughs> wait for it, $1.5 million. And actually, there's even a way to, I think, oh, no, that would be if you get the extra 50% bump. I'll explain in a second. So depending upon the exploit chain's complexity and severity. However, Apple's not handing out such high rewards casually. Um, the rules are strict, and they've set what's, what those in the industry regard as a high bar for earning the top rewards. On the other hand, it's one and a half million dollars, so <laughs> that would be good. Uh, to be eligible for the top prizes and various bonuses, researchers must submit clear reports, which include a detailed description of the issues being reported, any prerequisites and steps to get the system into an impactable state, a reasonably reliable exploit for the issue being reported, and enough information for Apple to be able to reasonably reproduce the issue. So, of course, you know, that's pretty much the pwn to own requirements, right? I mean, that's, those are the, the, those are the, that's the set of things that anybody winning pwn to own has been able to do in the past. And so now we're talking about some substantial reward rather than just say, hey, look, I got a laptop. Um, so those bugs which are novel affect multiple platforms, work on the latest hardware and software, and impact sensitive components are more likely to net the top $1.5 million reward. And vulnerabilities discovered and reported in beta releases will also be highly prized with Apple willing to add a 50% bonus on top of the regular payout for any bug reported in a beta release. And as we talked about this at the time, because we did get a sense that this was going to happen, this seems entirely rational since it would incentivize researchers not to wait until something is actually out and shipped, but to get on board and help Apple find these problems before they ever ship them in the first place, which it makes sense that Apple would, would and should be willing to pay for. Um, the 50% bonus is for regression bugs where older and previously fixed problems return for an encore as well as bugs that are found during beta. Um, also, since takeover bugs requiring no user involvement are the most sought after by the likes of Zerodium, the discovery and reporting of those will also bring researchers top money from Apple. Uh, so, so long as the researcher is able to provide a fully working exploit chain for these types of submissions, um, they stand to qualify. Under eligibility, Apple says they, the party must be the first party to report the issue to Apple product security, provide a clear report which includes a working exploit, uh, not disclose the issue publicly before Apple releases the security advisory for the report, uh, which of course is generally released along with the, with the updates. Uh, issues that are unknown to Apple and are unique to designated developer betas and public betas, including regressions, can result in that 50% bonus pay, uh, 
payment. Uh, and so Apple's looking for uh, security issues introduced in certain designated developer beta or public beta releases. Uh, and they're saying that not all developer or public betas are eligible for the additional bonus. And then they're very interested in refinding anything that they broke. Regressions of previously resolved issues would also get payment. So, for example, uh, I have in the show notes, and Leo, you were showing it a second ago, that this sort of this the breakdown, the menu of a payment schedule, iCloud unauthorized access to iCloud data on Apple servers gets a someone who finds a way to do that a hundred thousand dollars. A device attack through physical access, if it's a lock screen bypass, a hundred thousand. If it also allows user data extraction, that's a quarter million. A device attack via a user installed app. So if if a if an app can be installed and obtain unauthorized access to sensitive data, $100,000. If the app is installed and ob obtain kernel code execution, $150,000. A CPU side channel attack gets a quarter million. Then we have network attack with user interaction. One click unauthorized access to sensitive data over the network, $150,000. One click kernel code execution through a network connection, a quarter million. And the final category where the big money is network attack without user interaction. A zero click uh, access to the kernel with, um, uh, with physical proximity. And I don't know what they mean by that, with physical proximity. Um, that would mean like a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi exploit, maybe? or Yeah, maybe. Network attack without user interaction. Zero click. Oh, radio to kernel with physical go. proximity. There so I think go. you're right. Bluetooth or, or, or Wi-Fi. Right. Quarter million dollars. Zero click. Click unauthorized access to sensitive data. Half a million dollars. And finally, zero click kernel code execution with persistence. And, and kernel protection bypass, that brings you the million dollars. And if to that you add, you, you found it in a regression or, uh, what was the other thing? It was, um, oh, or in a beta. So either you, you found something that they broke or you find a zero click kernel code execution with persistence and kernel uh, protection bypass, that's where you get, and that's in beta software, $1.5 million for the, for the, for the big, uh, the big payout. So anyway, it's nice that this is happening. As we've said, the problem has been that the, the commercial entities have not been able to outbid the likes of Zerodium. So, you know, a hacker who's trying to make a career from finding security flaws by being an ethical bug hunter, and as we've talked about, it's entirely possible now to do that. Um, you know, they're they're going to look out for themselves, and so the 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 tech the you know the tendency would be to sell to the in, into the gray market like Zerodium rather than you know help Apple find their own problems. So it's very cool that uh, that this is now something that Apple's doing. 